Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Ah. Hello there! What seems to be the problem? Well, you see, we're here at Helm's Deep, but we shouldn't be here. We should be playing the new Wild West faction that was supposed to drop this weekend. But it didn't. Another happy landing! A long time ago in a galaxy not far, far away, I asked you guys, what was the mod that you most wanted me to create in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? As you can see here, We've got the clone troopers. Clone troopers versus droids was the mod that was the most requested. So it was the first one that we ever did. But there was a little bit something missing with the Clone Wars. And I understand while it was the Clone Wars, of all the Star Wars, you know, eras and kind of factions to see, clones versus droids. I mean, think about it. Given the television show and the movies, like... Most of us grew up with clone troopers. We didn't grow up with stormtroopers. They were kind of before our time, plus they were the bad guys. And clone troopers were the good guys. They had faces and personalities. They weren't just always hidden behind these masks. But something was missing. And that was Obi-Wan Kenobi. Now, obviously, we need Anakin, and he might show up a little bit later in this video. But we needed Anakin because he's as much a part of the Clone Wars as anybody. And the cool thing about him is he's had his force powers redone. They're more powerful this time around. Some would even say operational. Look at this. Get out of my... Get out of his way! Now, this is a beautiful map, especially for clone troopers who wear mostly all white armor and droids who are kind of light and yellow. And I, I do love the googly eyes. But it makes you wonder, like, why isn't there a simulation map setting where we could just switch to night mode. I think that would be a really nice feature. So Obi-Wan is able to deflect some lasers, more blocking really than deflecting. And there's a little bit of a knockback here. And everybody knows that the Mandalorians are pretty dang good. The Mandalorians were one of the early mods as well. I've been asking you guys which mods you'd love to see updated and added to. And a lot of people did say, go back to the clones versus the droids. Obi-Wan, we need you to get up and, uh, and, and show us your, well, not your yoga skills, even though you do look like a, a like a dirty hippie, kind of, you know, with your clothing. Um, doing like, you know, crazy Jedi Knight yoga poses. We need you to show off your force powers. So clearly these droids and Mandalorians are a little above your pay grade. So let's see how Obi-Wan's prowess with a lightsaber goes against a bunch of dudes with uh hairy heads and clubs see look at that the force powers have been updated and and they're doing a little bit better oh my god i love the force push because look at this some of these guys just went absolutely spilling down the mountain and i know i know what you're thinking oh man these guys he's got this guy's stuck it looks like he's almost stuck in a spider web if you look in the right angle like ah. where's shelob when you need her though right now, we have horses, we have raptors, but there's never been anything like a spider. I mean, we even have bats. Yeah, let's just say in tabs, I've noticed something funny. I, in, animal, in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, which we played yesterday, even they, in that battle simulator, they have their weapons behind their heads. I, I just think it's something. But Obi-Wan Kenobi, one of the best Jedis of all time, my personal favorite. Some people even said I'd look like him, which was kind of funny. Baron Von Kenobi has returned. I want to know who your favorite Jedi is. Who your favorite... No, no, no. Not who your favorite Jedi is, because there's a bunch of them. But there's even more Star Wars characters. Because whoever the coolest Star Wars characters are, we can add going forward to the Star Wars mod. Oh, man. So let's see. How is Obi-Wan going to do this? How are you going to get that guy out of the tree? <laughs> He's even yelling and taunting at you. Okay. So Obi-Wan's strategy here is to walk down the mountain. You're gonna have to force push him out of there. Oh, I hear someone else. Oh, they're behind you. It's a trap. I don't know, this is actually kind of funny. Can I do anything? Oh, missed with a lightsaber and got his arm stuck in the fence. Never mind. lightsabers can cut through anything. Oh, and look, <laughs> what are you doing, sir? Sir, that's inappropriate. And he fell through the spider web. Does he break his back? He did, but uh, rigor mortis is set in. <laughs> But we need a map where the force powers will do significant damage. A red Jedi Knight by the name of Obi-Wan Kenobi versus a lot of little boys with swords. So let's see how this works. Can, 
Can you force push him? Okay, that's pretty good, but there are a lot of them. He's going to have to use his force powers a little bit more. But look at that. That's pretty impressive. He's spilling so many of them over. And this is what... Like, this is a screenshot. Thanks to physics. This is a screenshot. <laughs> he's just like a... He's a Roomba vacuum cleaner. But, like, instead of sucking up all the dirt, he's just, like, shooting it all out. <laughs> I don't know why I was trying to make an analogy and I used a Roomba to describe a Jedi Knight. <laughs> the only thing that would be make this even better, and there's probably a number of things, so there's not the only one, but if that lightsaber, oh God, thank goodness it can't do what I'm about to say. I wish it could. If it could cut through solid objects. So Obi-Wan's just taunting the enemy and riding his lightsaber like he's Harry Potter. Look at that. So that's pretty good. I want to see if Yoda has been updated. If we've done that yet. Because for a while, Yoda's force powers were... Mm, let's just say broken. And in, in tabs, a lot of things can break. I'll, I'll say that much. Yoda is getting buried alive. <laughs> and just beaten. <laughs> senseless. <laughs> Don't fall, Yoda! Yoda, use the force, man! That's... Well, you got a lot of them, but... I think enough of them survived. This guy's alive. Anyone still holding their sword is probably alive. I think there's only three or four of them left alive. So who would win? Yoda or Obi-Wan? Now, I think... Place your bets real quick in, in the comments below. Yoda or Obi-Wan, who wins? I'm gonna guess Obi-Wan Kenobi wins. Because I like him better. And there you go. I, I, I choose emotionally, which is what you're not supposed to do. But he's just pushing Yoda around like a ragdoll. Because remember, guys, Yoda is a more powerful Jedi, but this is totally accurate battle simulator. So whoever's the totally accurately better Jedi is the victor. Oh, yes. I can use my mods in the campaign. So this is the challenge campaign, or rather the simulation challenges. Can a few... We'll put some Mandalorians in the front. And you know what? I mean, why not while we're here? If I can afford one, I want to put a... Oh, I can't put a Bolter Space Marine. That makes me sad. Only in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator can you see Obi-Wan Kenobi leading a bunch of Urukai. And luckily we can. All right, use the Force, Obi. Obi, use the Force. Use the Force before you get absolutely wrecked! Well, that was bad. And remember, if you've missed some of the previous mods, like the Blood Angel Space Marines, you gotta check them out because these guys have Bolters. And they should just absolutely destroy these guys. And they're being supported. Uh-oh, there's only one left. Okay, you, sir, are gonna have to be taken over by me. And the bolters are just loud. Oh, I was wondering what that sound was. It was kind of freaking me out. Uh-oh, what? You guys are not helping out your friends here. Shoot that guy in the foot. Okay, you got him. Oh yeah, they, they got a chance. Bolter, fire. The bolter's range needs to be extended, I think, in order to beat this. But that would be an interesting idea for a video. If you'd like to see all of the mods versus each other, let me know. Or if all the mods, like, we could have a campaign challenge. Because it looks like things need to be worked on a little bit over here. So Obi-Wan just beat Yoda, right? Now let's see him against a Sith. The only Sith we have, and this is Emperor Sidious, who for some reason is using twin lightsabers. And he doesn't really enjoy wearing pants, but I guess that's the the one issue with, um... Did you ju He just dropped a lightsaber. I'm kind of confused as to why... And, and his clothes are falling off. Our pet's heads are falling off! Obi-Wan, you just kicked that man's butt. Now, before you have to fight your ultimate test, which I know, he's your old Padawan apprentice. We're gonna have to see Darth Vader's true power. Used on, well, what we usually do in tabs when we want to try out a new unit's power. We pit them against. Think of this as Sith training. It's always the tribal faction. So in, in Star Wars, I could imagine that Darth Sidious is like, Vader, you need to work on your melee skills, bro. Go to this like primitive planet and just wreck everybody because watch what happens. Watch what Darth Vader can do. He throws everybody. Look at that. And look at the power. I mean, three quarters of this circle is gone. But wait a second. What happens when we look up? This guy isn't going anywhere. Is this? And it may look like he's dabbing. Why does it always look like in tabs that they're dabbing? But he's actually holding his hand up. His thumb and his finger, which 
are hidden because it's tabs. He's choking. We have the f choking force power ability. So he's able to just like, what, you guys want to fight him? You guys want to fight Darth Vader? So while he's choking, everyone's like intimidated by what's going on. Now, now they have a bunch of clubs, so it's like Ewoks. Like what would happen if like a hundred Ewoks were to fight Darth Vader? You know what? I guess we could answer that. Once again, Darth Vader gets sent to a primitive planet. This time, Middle Earth. The Shire. Star Wars versus Lord of the Rings. I think it's coming. He just flings all of the hobbits except for this one, which he's choking in the air and just swinging around like a rag doll. And I don't, all these guys look... Uh, da, 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 da. Oh my god. Look at what Yoda... Uh, Darth Vader choked this man so much his head shrank. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. If, if lightsabers and tabs could cut things into pieces, this would be incredible. Now, I don't entirely know what's going on. The hobbits are just... What? What are you guys doing over here? Oh, some kind of mind control. I guess if you can read their minds, you can control them. Oh, my God. Push them all into the water. Push them all into the water, Vader. Oh, you were so close. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to bring balance, man. He's just ping-ponging him around. All right, so now we have to have the duel of the fates. Cue duel of the fates. I mean, we can't really because copyright. Oh, you know what we could do? So we don't really have stormtroopers, but we have some evil menacing looking dudes here in the space marines. So picture th this is the outskirts of Coruscant and over here is the Jedi temple. Oh no, I've seen this scene. Order 66 was just executed in the totally accurate battle simulator universe. Uh, Blood Angel Space Marines were called in. I, I don't know why. They're not the salamanders, so they're not as nice to humans, unfortunately. And, oh no, not the younglings. Oh, Vader, you are a bad, bad man. And also kind of invisible right there. Oh man, bolter rounds going into hobbits <laughs> oh and then that poor youngling like uh, no one really knows exactly what went down in the temple other than anakin just started slaying everybody oh but this is pretty much the new totally accurate order 66 so come on guys bring the pain train because there are a lot of little Ewok youngling hobbits that you've got to deal with. I really think Ewok should be like on the menu for one of the upcoming modded factions. So once again, in the comments below, leave which faction, leave which mod you want updated, which mod you want added, what factions or units you think would be cool, or maybe even cool mechanics or custom maps, because things are happening. Now, check in the link below because we've got a Discord link. I want you guys to join my Discord server because a lot of times the Space Marines were teased and Obi-Wan was teased on the Discord before it ever happened on YouTube. So make sure to check out that stuff and let me know what you think because right now Vader here is pretty much finishing up the job here, destroying pretty much everybody. I think there might be a few hobbits hiding somewhere where we don't really know, but all we have to do is follow. Did you launch them over here on the other side of the wall? Were you? Oh god. Does he feel bad about what he's done? Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna jump off. Now, wait. There's a hobbit here and they went over here? Alright, wh what's it, what's your plan now, Vader? You could have gone the other way. It's, it was much safer. You're not... The pathfinding for you guys isn't necessarily the best. Because Vader is stuck. One of the most... Powerful Jedi's turn Sith. Get out of the way. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Except I can't because you're facing the other way. Get out of the way. All right, this should work. And voila. Hello there, Hobbit boy. Rip. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Right in the tuchus. He's right there. What are you doing? Oh my God, we've got a... Ee -hee. We got a moonwalking clone trooper. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Another episode of Totally Aggro Battle Simulator. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see the Wild West faction just yet, but stay posted to the channel because it should drop this week. Also, once again, the questions of the day are what mods should we build or update next? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.